Hey everybody, this is Scott from Spinning Wheels Photography and uh, I'm not sure if you guys enjoy this time of year or not, but here in late August, early spring, uh, September, uh, it's time for the kids to go back to school, so it's kind of quiet around the house and I just got back from a trip walking my granddaughter down to the bus stop, stopped at the mailbox and I picked up my next issue, a four low magazine and number issue number 29 and in here they have a section on bikini adventures uh crawl for christ and uh rally on the rocks uh, so stay tuned and we'll go in depth in more of these feature articles here in a moment First of all, I'm an avid reader, this, and uh, what I have read in this magazine is based on my opinion. I'm not having any input from the publisher or the editor of Four Low Magazine. Therefore, it's my opinion on how I read it and how I liked it. And I'll be honest with you guys, because I've been around the business for 38 plus years now, and I've read a lot of good articles, and I've read some short articles, and, and I know what it's like. So. Um, let's get back to our key features, all right? Okay, a key feature here is Bikini Adventure number two. Uh, photos and story are by Cody Sears. And uh, I will look and see if there's a link to his page anywhere, Facebook or, or uh, but you know where it is, down there, of course. Uh, the story it took place in Moab, Utah, and it's back in the back country there, and I believe it's in the um, Sand Hollow recreational area from the way it looks. And I, I don't know if you've ever been there or not, but uh, the place is really nice for four wheeling, and I really love it. And if you get a chance to go there, you know, try to try to, because it's a really good place to go. Uh, in the article, they show uh, kind of a artistic drawing of the map of you know the trails they took which just looks pretty cool and um, shows you the different points they went to uh, Cody took some awesome pictures I mean I have to admit that those some good shots out there and I think that you guys would probably be pretty interested in what happened out there so take a look at and get a read and my only thing about this is you call it bikini adventure but, dude, I don't find any bikinis out there. I mean, seriously, not one of the guys are wearing a bikini. So, uh, you know, if you're going to do an article like that, at least make it, you know, make it look like, you know, the guys are really good at it. So, other than that, we're out um, beyond the next story here. Hey, the next article was uh, Crawl for Christ. Uh, article's uh, header was Floods, Food, and Flexing. Story was by Brian, and I won't pronounce your last name, Brian, I'm sorry. Don't want to hack it all up. But Brian is the president of the United Christian Off-Road Alliance. They're a nonprofit organization which raises money for uh, different types of events and helping out the um, people around the United States. So check them out. Uh, the other thing is, photos were taken by C4x4 Online Magazine. Both of them you'll find a link down below. This story took place in Pensacola Dam outside of um, Disney, Oklahoma. I've never even heard of it, but uh, from what Google Maps shows, it's a very nice area. I like the uh, country out there. It looks pretty uh, uh, green as compared to where I live in the Arizona desert. You know, it's, so it looked pretty good. Uh, this was their 12th annual event for raising funds for helping people out. So. I uh, look what they had. They had a lot of um, things going on out there, uh, running through the rocks while you know water floods. Uh, I know it's kind of different, but I've been through some of those things. Uh, so, what you need to do if you're interested in their event, they're holding their 15th year anniversary for ministries this July. 3rd through the 4th, 2020. That's over the 4th of July weekend. They'll be in Disney, Oklahoma. You gotta check them out, so mark your calendar if you're interested in some of their events. Our next article is on Rally on the Rocks, sponsored by Discount Tire. The story and photos were by Don McNeely, and I'll link his page down below, of course. Uh, 
This rally took place in Moab, Utah at the um, Sand Hollows recreational area out there. Same place everybody likes to go four-wheeling in Moab. I enjoyed it. So uh, it's a really good place. Uh, the article is very well written. I like the idea that uh, throughout the whole article, uh, it made me feel like I was right there at the event, and I really enjoyed the writing uh, from by Don. It's, it's really good, and uh, I'm kind of jealous, but uh, that's the way it is. You know, we can all be jealous about different things. So, um, after looking at the whole thing, this is an all UTV event. It's there is no other. 4x4s in there, it's all UTV, so everybody went out and had fun in their little side-by-side, -side. so it looked really good. There was a lot of um, characteristics of, uh, you know, stiff frame 4x4s with the, the way those uh, UTVs flex, but it looks like everybody had a good time out there. So here's what we need to do. We need to mark our calendar um, for May 12th through the 16th, 2020, in the new year. Uh, I'll find everything I possibly can and link it down there is their next event, uh, Rally on the Rocks. Check them out, bring your UTV, go out and have some fun and enjoy your day with them. I appreciate you guys' time. Hey everybody, uh, just a word from my sponsors. Oh, that's me. I'm sponsoring this video along with uh, all my videos right now. So if you're interested in Maybe uh, looking at my material and sponsor me uh, down here someplace, you'll find my email address. Uh, you can write to me, send me the product, or however you want to do this, we'll work out a deal and I'll give you a fair video. I met the gentleman, he has a lot of good products out there. Everything is really good, built tough. Uh, he's got some good concepts in there. But this story he wrote in this particular issue was called Quarter Horse, The Final Chapter. And you can see uh, some of the projects if you follow them on Instagram. I, that's where I saw a lot of the projects during the build, showing the different uh, things from the um, body off frame restoration all the way through, to, uh, all the way to the paint. Uh, really nice paint. So um, here's a, I don't know if you can see it really well. I'll probably stick a picture in, but the one here on this side right here is a. Um, the one he built for sale. He took it to the Meekum auction here in Phoenix, Arizona. Um, I'm not sure what date that was, but that's what their plans were. And uh, top of look and see what, what day that'll be. If I can, I'll put it in the description down below so you can follow it online or a visit if you're in the Phoenix area. One thing uh, in the article, Bailey has asked, that if you see this particular vehicle out on the streets is to uh, photograph it, send it on your Instagram or your Facebook page and tag him in it, show him where it was at, how it's being used. He'd really like to see how the vehicle is doing out there on the road and he's hoping the customer is very happy with what they've got. So that's one thing to think about. Uh, the next story that I read in here, uh, it's called uh, Time Out. To a cool off and it is a good story on some of the things that we forget about when we're out four-wheeling and that's our uh, cooling system uh, water pump radiator fans things like that uh, in the article that they wrote it um, comes through there uh, really well written uh, informative and what they've done is taken their old water pump off their vehicle and replaced it with a brand new one they've taken the old probably um, either aluminum plastic radiator out or the old brass ones or copper ones, whatever they had in it originally, and put in a aftermarket um, aluminum radiator, which looks really nice. And they took out the clutch fan and put in an electric fan to help keep the engine cool when they're out four-wheeling. So something to read about if you're um, wanting to do a project on your vehicle and thinking that, you know, Truck's always getting warm when you're out four wheeling because you're always running around slow and you need some way to cool it better. This might be an article for you to read. So, okay, the next story that I read, and this was about the uh, We Rock Championship race they had in Farmington, New Mexico. Um, 
the editor of the magazine, Shelley, is the one that wrote the article. And uh, photos were taken by uh, somebody I know, Miller uh, Truby, and Mike Boyle. Uh, never met Mike, but I have met Miller, and uh, both of them took some really good shots there at the event, and looks really nice. Uh, wish I was there. I kind of missed out on it, other priorities and uh, photography. So, um, reading the article, it, sound, it read really good, Shelly. Uh, honestly, I, I wish I could have been there. But um, check out the calendar. I know their first event will be coming up in 2020 in Baghdad, Arizona. It is going to be um, over the weekend. I believe it's the 28th, 29th, and March 1st. Uh, it's a leap year week. Uh, so put that on your calendar. Be a nice long weekend for that. So. Hey everybody, this is my final thoughts on the videos. I hope you enjoyed what I made. Uh, been a long time coming, I bet, but uh, I have been in photography for 39 years and video is something new to me. So if you like my videos, give me a thumbs up. I appreciate your time. If you don't like my videos and you give me a thumbs down, you owe me a comment. That's mandatory. I want to hear why you think I need to work on my videos and some constructive criticism. Other than that, if you enjoy my channel, someplace over here, you will find a link to subscribe or down below, one or the other. And I hope you enjoy my next video and we'll see you later.